We, that was what we call a trailer that we saw in the film there, that little preview thing. What, where were you and Belmondo in the fight, in that scene? You mean why? Yeah. Well, it happens that's the way we happen to meet together. And of course, it's, uh, so we start by meeting each other, by fighting each other. And of right. course, it's about a girl. You know, mostly in life, it's, uh, when you got in fight, it's most, most of the time about a girl. Well, that's happened yeah. to me. I don't know if that happens to you. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Would you fight over a, a woman in real life? Uh, couldn't you? Couldn't you just reason it out? Couldn't you just? Uh... You mean fight a woman? No, no, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> For a woman? Or would you fight over a woman? Well, in French, that what probably What do you mean over? Badly. Over is. Uh... Uh, yes, it does. What's over? <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I just. Uh... Dans la vie. Ah, dans la vie. Because... Dans la vie. Yeah. Si vous voulez frapper quelqu'un. Yeah. Uh, 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 femme. No, don't laugh. It's great. getting dirtier as I <laughs> as I try. But I got I got good, my right. money out of Berlitz. They won't understand what you're good. <laughs> But let's drop that and okay, move on yeah. to something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, move uh, on. Over. Yeah. There's a <clears throat> scene in the film that uh, where uh, with all those old cars, it, it's very authentic. I mean, it seems like a film of that period. You understand? Well, it's based on uh, based on a, on a true story anyway. Those two guys uh, really existed in 1930. Oh, those are two oh, real yeah. gangsters? Yeah, real gangsters in 1930. And uh, they're very known over there. And as, they were as famous, I mean, as known as uh, Capone or Dillinger. Really. As well known as Capone oh, yeah. or Dillinger? In 1930. Yeah. In Marseille. Yeah. yeah. You've heard of Marseille. We say Dillinger. It's a hard... We call oh, it Dillinger. Hard <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, I said Dillinger. And I was not making fun of you. You didn't get a laugh. <laughs> that's how we know I wasn't making fun. Right. Yeah. No, I was telling you, you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But I'm sorry, because I'm here every but night. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when you were Monsieur Delon, when you were a kid, uh, I heard that you tried to run away to to America. Did you get here? How do you know that? Yeah, we I was 14. Ways. Yeah. That's true. I was 14 years old, and I just wanted to reach Chicago. Yeah. And, uh, Chicago. Why Chicago? Well, I don't know. Well, you know, first of all, in France, uh, when we're kids, especially, we always dream on uh, geography books. And, uh, of course, the biggest dream was America, because America to her sounds uh, just like a new world. Yeah. And Chicago, because uh, it sounds good. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't get to Chicago because I was uh, stopped by the police before I get into the boat. I wanted to go there by a boat and work on the boat. I was with a friend of mine. I was just uh, got um, <clears throat> sort of fed up with my family. I was fighting with my family. And just watching the book of geography with my friend, we just decided to go to Chicago. Yeah. That's it. As simple as that. Chicago just said. And you never got there? You never got no, I never. I, I got to jail. Yeah. But not in Chicago, in France. In France. <laughs> Jail's more fun in Chicago, I have Yeah, I think so. It's yeah. almost... Uh, Is the press rougher on a person there than they are here when there's some... I, I think there was that problem, the, the sort of scandal question a couple of years back uh, with you, and I wondered if the press... Um, is any rougher on there when something like that happens. Did, did they ever solve that crime, by the way? That, no, mm, no not yet. Yeah. Well, there's nothing to do with the rough press and not rough press. I think the press is almost the same in all of the world. Yeah. But uh, I think the press, on, the press only came in because I was a known person, known yeah, personality, that's and that's uh, what makes the big uh, scandal mm -hmm. of it. Well, that's not a, I mean, it's not a especially funny story to talk about. No. But it's not resolved yet. It isn't. That's what I wondered if it no. was still... Because I know you had cooperated with, very much with the... Uh, the authorities and the I didn't quite cooperate because I'm not that friend of authorities. Yeah. Uh, there's none in my relation, and I don't especially deal with them. I'm wondering, and especially when they put me uh, when they put me on, the way they did. Okay, it's okay. Just forget about it. Okay, I just wondered if a thing like that this changed it slightly. Go um, on. In Europe. In America, when something happens uh, like that in someone's career, it seems to enhance their or make them more famous in some sense. Um, I don't know if that's just as true in, in Europe. Well, I don't know. It could have, uh, <clears throat> I think, could have killed me, could have ruined my career. Mm -hmm. And in fact, 
It uh, just did the opposite, if you want. So that, that's that's about what happens here. Yeah, and it's I mean, probably and yeah, it's probably because I had uh, on TV and it was not that kind of show. Unfortunately, it wasn't uh, not that funny. I had sort of a relation with the audience, and I had to explain myself and to talk to them. Yeah. And it was in French, so it was much simpler. And probably the way I talked to them, I got them back, in a way. Yeah. It's a I mean, on my thing. side. Yeah. And fortunately, they were the only one I had on my side. But when you got the audience on your side, you just can't lose. Yeah. If you agree. I do agree. But people are... <laughs> it is interesting how people's personal lives are, are affect their careers. I mean, let's face it, until Mia Farrow married Frank Sinatra, no one had heard of Frank Sinatra. And, uh, <laughs> That didn't come out right. You, uh, well, it's a bit different because I didn't get married with anybody. It was a kind of different uh, wedding. Yeah. Hmm? Different what? Wedding. Wedding? Wedding? A wedding. A oh, wedding. Wedding, oh, okay. yeah. yeah. You had your head shaved when you were in the Marines. Why did they do that? You know, do you understand the head shaved? Oh, shaved, completely shaved? Yeah, I heard Oh, yeah, you. because at any time... Uh, in France, in the Marines, any time you, you do something wrong and any time you go to jail, they just uh, shave your head. And I had my uh, head shaved five times. Because I spent, uh, in, during four and a half years, I spent 11 months in jail. And that's probably why now I got my hair long, you know. Remember what, that time. Yeah, to compensate. Yeah, to compensate. What, uh, what do you have to do to get your head shaved in the, in the just French? Just to go to jail. And you would ask why to go to jail, probably once, because I steal the jeep from the army away, and I just went around with a couple of friends, and the jeep handed in the river, with me, of course, in it. And they didn't think, they didn't think that was funny? No, it was not funny, but I, I just don't understand why. <laughs> it was a lot of fun for me. You may not be cut out for the army. Yeah. yeah. What, what were the other four times? Well, it's uh, less easy to talk on TV. I mean, yeah. it's... Uh... <laughs> Stealing a jeep doesn't affect anyone, anybody, just the army, but yeah. it's not that uh, important. I'm hip. <laughs> Actually, I'm hip. You what? Do you, get, do you say that I'm hip? Hip? In French? No, we just say hip, 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 hoorah. That's all what we say. <laughs> <laughs> What's hip? Uh, what is hip? Yeah, what is hip? Hip is what I embody. <laughs> That's what you are? So what am I? What, so what are you? Yeah. Well, I'm if not hip, hip is what I am, what would you like to be? <laughs> I'd like to be hip. Oh, you would? Can you report for a lesson tomorrow? What time? The guy's taking me up on this. Now, hip, hip is a, I guess, actually a musician's expression. It used to be hip in the old days. I don't know if it was ever hip, actually. Was it something to do with hippies? Uh, I don't know. You know, I haven't been in this country long enough to really... <laughs> Explain all these things. It's, you, your questions are too difficult. Let's take a message and we'll be right back. <laughs>